Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Batman issue 22. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic Uno episode 191, and that show will review all the comics I've read this week in one show. The exclusive comics are in the description below, and the episode will be annotated by Friday. But let's start talking about Batman issue 22, which yes, I got the 3D uh, the 3D cover. Uh, so here we go. Love it. It's, uh, you get to see Reverse Flash and Barry seeing his mom die. And then you have Thomas Wayne seeing his son and Martha die. Awesome cover. I love these covers. They, they've they been so great. Uh, but let's get into the interior artwork, which is such a big improvement from the Flash. It's not as jarring. And it goes back to that really clean and emotional artwork that we saw in Batman issue 21. Because I believe it's the same artist who's doing it. Which is, uh, I believe it's Jason Fabic still working on the artwork for this issue. Let's see. I'm sure it's going to like tell us in the end of the issue instead of the beginning. Let's see. Who worked on this book? It uh, The script actually was done by both Joshua Williamson and Tom King. And the pencils were done by Jason Fabic. So it's the same artist who did Batman issue 21. Uh, but yeah, gorgeous artwork. It, it was just beautiful. It it was the, the same honest of issue 21. But let's see if the story was the same honest of issue 21. So going into it. This is very Flashpoint heavy, so if you've never read Flashpoint, you probably should be more reading, uh, reading this story. Um, also, if you're a hardcore Flashpoint fan, I think this really highlights the best aspect of Flashpoint, which was Thomas Wayne. Uh, I think people that have read, read it after the event, people reading it during the event like I did, Thomas Wayne was the best aspect of Flashpoint. Uh, but this is very much a goodbye to Flashpoint, and in, in, I think in a metal way, a goodbye to the New 52. Uh, a very tear-jerking goodbye to the New 52, where it's Thomas Wayne, uh, you know, seeing his world, not really wanting to live anymore. He doesn't want this world to exist. He wants his son to be happy. And they address the letter. It's not, and I'm so glad they didn't, like, cut off anything. I thought it was going to be such a cop-out where they're like, they're not going to express their feelings. They won't finish their conversation. But they do in the end. And, I mean, tear-jerking jer moment where it's Thomas Wayne. Um, well, first of all, Bruce saying to Thomas, you have a grandson. I've always wanted to tell you that. You know, I'm so glad I can. And then Thomas in the end saying, don't be Batman. We're not happy that you're Batman. It's like, you're not doing us any favors. Please be happy. Please be with your son. And it's Bruce leaving. So that's going to be a huge impact for Bruce. Is he going to be Batman? Especially because I feel like Tom King, um, especially in uh, Bane, uh, the I Am Bane storyline, questions Batman's legacy uh, and questions his motives of why he was helping Gotham and Gotham Girl because maybe he wanted to pass down his legacy to them. Why is he helping out Gotham Girl? Maybe because of that. A lot of hints obviously to his mom there. So I think this has been building up in, in previous Batman story arcs too. So what will happen to the Batman legacy after this version of Thomas Wayne says, hey, don't be Batman because <laughs> that is his whole reason is because he wants wanted revenge for his parents' death. He doesn't want anyone to deal with, uh, you know, deal with that same pain. So, very interesting. I'm so glad they didn't cut that off. Um, and now it's Bruce just begging, please, I want to see my dad. I want to see my dad. Uh, and then we see the reverse flash from an earlier timeline still having the Watchmen button. So, can they stop reverse flash and, and stop what happened in Batman issue 21? Really well done book. Um, I loved it. Now, did it beat issue five? I mean, issue twenty one. No, it didn't beat that because I think that had a little bit more Watchmen and a lot. You could, it's definitely something you could reread even more. But I also feel like this is a very good book you could reread, especially as a Flashpoint fan. Um, it and as a Batman fan too. It just is such a beautiful goodbye and then a beautiful conversation between Thomas and, and Bruce. It, it is just so good. Um, and then it, it gives you more clues of what's going to be happening in DC Rebirth. It's Reverse Flash saying, oh, I saw this person. He can't stop me. But obviously that person can because we saw what happened in issue 21. But also shows how uh, strong-willed Barry is. You know, Barry sees the person that killed his mom and he still wants to save him. I mean, that's blows your mind, but that's Barry's character. 
So even though this is more Batman heavy, you do get to see that influence from Flash because this is a crossover. So um, I will say my only nitpick of this issue, there were some slow parts in the beginning where Thomas is kind of explaining Flashpoint. I felt like that was a little slow and I personally didn't care about the Aqua, Aquaman Wonder Woman war and, and that was part of Flashpoint so again depends on how much of a fan you were of, Fla of Flashpoint but truly this is just a goodbye to the New 52 and I, I really like that because the Fla you know, Flashpoint obviously started the New 52 and in that way it was once again a meta um, uh, storyline where it's like, hey, by New 52, we're, we're moving on to our, our new step of, of DC. So, uh, Batman issue 22 for me gets four and a half stars, very close to five stars. It, it, this has just been a really awesome story arc. But let me know in the comments below what you thought. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.